morning. I'm in Pickering today. I think there's something going on because there's lots of uh, closed roads today, which excites me because they're not closed roads unless there's something pretty exciting going on. Let's go check it out. But first, I'm going to explore somewhere called the Hidden Market. That sounds exciting. Let's go see what that has to offer. So the Hidden Market, which I can't actually find because it's that well hidden, that doesn't open until 10. So it's 10 to 10 at the moment. Oh, look at this place. The Curious Raven. Phrenology. I think we need to have a look inside the Curious Raven. So let's have a look in here. It's a very retro look. Who doesn't love a good dragon, eh? Wickerman candle there. Very cool. Look at these books. Hunt for the Shadow Wolf. Look at this little guy. Very, very friendly place. That's what I bought. This cool mug. Wanted a new mug for a while. Look how cool it is. It's the Curious Raven. Awesome, awesome shop. They're definitely all ready for Halloween. I might come back at Halloween because I think that shop at Halloween is going to be a bit spectacular. So I've stopped for a cappuccino, wait for the hidden market to open at Nosh. So there's a rock festival here today. But that's at two o'clock and that's quite a way into the distance. So if we're still here, I'll have a look. We've got a nice warm croissant with some butter and some marmalade and a strawberry and a cappuccino. Yeah, you do. Oh, that is a large dog. Is this your large dog? Uh, no, it's this gentleman's down there. Alright, I can say he just friendly. appeared out of nowhere, didn't he? He's friendly as anything. Do you need a big dog in your looping? He is. So let's try and find the hidden market. It's nice, isn't it? Dale's Florist. Beehive. The beehive. Ooh, everything's all Halloween y. Oh, it's exciting. I do love Halloween. I do love autumn. So I did ask about the hidden market, and it is between Boots and Reed. Oh, woolly Mr. Tumble, mate, on a bollard. Bit of Peppa Pig. So sad that I know this Higgle Piggle. Noddy. Big ears. Is it called Big Ears? Look at that. Every generation is accounted for when it comes to knitting. Let's have a wee gander up these rather exorcist looking steps. If you've watched The Exorcist, you'll know about our famous staircase in The Exorcist. Church open, you are most welcome. Come on in. So I did actually inadvertently walk out of town. Now there is the North Yorkshire Moors Railway spot here. Is that Percy? That's Percy from Thomas the Tank Engine. 
lovely stuff. So yeah, like I said, these roads are all closed because of the rock festival featuring local bands. And the fact that the roads are closed is making this a lot easier for me. Returned to the antique shop. These huge bottles of champagne. They can't take coxine. <laughs> I'll just have a, I'll briefly show you what's in there. Dogs allowed if carried or in a carrier or pushchair. Well, I'm not carrying a looping. And that's as far as I can go. Into the hidden market. Check this out. Created by Pickering Women's Institute members. A knitted pat on a post box. JSC Militaria. Take one of those home. Wow, look at that shield. Do you reckon that's for sale? There wouldn't be a trip to Pickering without checking out the North Yorkshire Mars Railway. You are now arriving at Pickering. to be worth a look. Pickering Station. Oh, apparently there's a, a wagon group talk slash demo. We've got to book that online. Heritage Open Day, 6th to the 15th of September. Locomotives running today. You can get the train from here to Whitby on the LMS Black 5 Eric Tree C Tree Key. And that goes all the way to Whitby. Very cool. Ooh, what's this? Real butterscotch butter beer. Harry Potter style, eh? There's lots of Harry Potter stuff here actually. I love these old style adverts. Almond's mustard. Weedabix. You know what's good for you. Yeah. You word looping. Nice and tip. This is a view from the bridge. So you can get the steam train to Whitby from here. But obviously you'd need to very much make a day of it. Blow up a grown up. A child can lift an adult by the power of pressure. Sit a grown up in the seat, close the yellow valve, pump the handle and you can push up an adult in this seat using nothing but pressure. So this is a map of where the railway goes. It goes from Whitby through to Gromont and Gothland, Newtondale Holt. Levisham, Scarborough. You have to travel from Scarborough to Whitby or Pickering. Follow the lights, camera, attraction, film trail all through the week and walk in the footsteps of your favourite film and TV stars. Okay, so I see. So if you go to Pickering, that's where they did Dad's Army, Levisham, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, and Bride's Head Revisited, Gothland, Harry Potter. And heartbeat and Gromont, Indiana Jones, my fave. So there you go, you can tour lots of film sets, well, where things were filmed, should I say, by visiting these places on the North Yorkshire Mars Railway. Who would have thought? Someone's left luggage from about a hundred years ago.
Backside, interiors, gifts, and clothing. Hey, yo. Spot here. It's like we're outside, but we're also inside. The old way. Yeah, it's one of those places where you just get however much you want in weight. That's a vintage little bookshop. Yorkshire quality books. Very vintage books as well. Harpooned Golden Book of the Year. Very cool. Beckhile Museum. Pop over to Beckhile Museum. Gifts, jewellery, pottery, blacksmiths, items and things. Shop open, free to browse, dogs welcome. Let's go have a look, Lupin. Step into Pickering's past. So here we go, Beck Isle Museum. Very vintage Meccano. Would you like to see the fairground lines working? Why not? Why not? Right, I'll just leave the keys there and we'll don't have to get it. Not quite time. Lego friends, mate. Yeah. We had this signage up about times, but nobody's here at that time. No, no. no. Oh, really? I'll just get the key. Yeah. Apparently, to begin with, people were a bit twitchy as to what this gentleman was doing. <laughs> Well, we hope it's not on display. But yeah. these, these are the fairground ones that he did. He made many, many models. Yeah. Selection of his work. Okay, it's made straight. They're not fair. Oh, God, the second weekend. <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you. It's, I know it's all, sometimes around my brother's birthday, which is yeah. the 7th. I Jungle too. ride. <laughs> we'll look for the wobble. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wow. That'll keep you quiet, won't it? There's actually a dude in there. Oh, that isn't that. Yep, that's, that's creepy. Yikes. It's like an escape room, isn't it? Oh, hello. It's a little mock pub. Whitbreads, oatmeal stout. All sorts of games and stuff in here. Victorian games, sh shove a penny. It's all right. Let's have a go at Bagatelli. How to play. Marbles are <laughs> launched onto the board from a spring loaded shooter in the bottom right hand corner of the board. Let's see how we do. Okay. Mm. 
Right. Boots and shoes. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> you are just gorgeous. He's having a great time. <laughs> It's all quite deceptive. You wouldn't think all this was here when you like you saw the building from outside. Should have a look in the chemist loops. Everybody's loving life. He's having a grand old time. Honey cough sweets. Honey first appeared as a medical ingredient over 5,000 years ago when the Egyptians used it to heal wounds. Barbers. Shaving salon. Costume room. It's gonna go and do some colouring in. Very nice. Oh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a slide and swings. Boys' dresses. Up into the early 1900s, boys up to the age of four wore dresses to hide them from evil, as sons were very precious to their families. Wow, well, there you go, I did not know that. That is a very, very old copy of Snakes on Hedders. Hope he wants to go back to reception and have a treat. But well, you're gonna have to wait. Old style sweet shop. Banjolele. It's dinner time. It's starting to rain as we come outside to look at these array of farming equipment. And this is an old printing press. My dad worked in the printing trade, so I'm sure he would shed light on what all this is. That is a very fancy bit of kit in it. The Columbian Press. Invented in 1813 by George Clymer of Philadelphia. A hand-operated press represented a real technical advance in letterpress printing. The elaborate decoration is a well-known feature of the Columbian Press and this particular one, number 1604, was made by W.M. Carpenter in 1854 and it was used until 1975 by Eric Dewing, printer of Pickering. Very cool. That's how you print the word museum. <clears throat> Lovely. There's a few kids games out here. Definitely, definitely a place to um, Bring the kids, there's lots for them to see and do here. Yeah? And this is made by the Bumblebee Conservation Trust. Very cute. Look at limit, the first edition Mrs. Potato Head. 
So I wonder if Mrs. Potato Head preceded Mr. Potato Head. Look at that Grand Prix. Very cool. Beckal Museum. Beckal Museum is a very, very cute little museum. Good place for people of all ages, lots for the kids to do. It's a little history museum, all in that building there. Everything you saw. I said it, it's deceptive, you didn't think that everything could be in that small building. So definitely come along and have a look at Beckal Museum. It was, I played, paid eight quid, but that gets you in for a whole year. So definitely worth it. And they've got lots of like, um, live stuff like activities and demonstrations and stuff and um, just check online when things are happening and have a look <laughs> Russell's Cafe and Traditional Bakers. I like that special. Steak pie, chips, mushy peas and gravy, eight quid. And it includes a coffee or a tea. Bargain. I've got myself a cute pie, chips and gravy. And a coffee. At Russell's Cafe. Pickering was superb. Great, great little town. Loads to see and do here. Didn't even know there was a full on rock festival on today. That's in full swing now, so it's pretty loud in the town centre. Um, I really enjoyed the museum, I really enjoyed the North Yorkshire Mods Railway. Who wouldn't enjoy that? That is like a staple if you're from Yorkshire. Uh, check out my other videos, I've got lots of other places. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, that helps me out massively. Where am I going next? Good question. I am thinking of going back to the Air Museum because they do like a day of thunder where some of the planes get all revved up and stuff. I know, right, that sounds exciting. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. See you later.